gonna run right up this hill Summer sky or winter chill all right, guys, I have a super delicious, gluten-free, vegan, healthy chocolate chip cookie recipe for you today. So you'll start with two and a half cups of almond meal. Add that into a bowl. Next, you'll add in one half cup of vegan chocolate chips. I like the mini chips best. Three quarters cup of gluten-free flour. One teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder. 3 quarters cup packed light brown sugar. You'll mix this all together and then set it aside. I'm gonna live a crazy dream Impossible as it may seem Doesn't matter what the future brings I'm gonna live a crazy dream Alright, so this next part is the really not traditional part and it's super cool that we can use this so I'm going to be using the juice from a can of chickpeas and they call that aqua faba. So basically that can be whipped up kind of like a meringue and it works super well in vegan baking. So you just strain out the chickpeas then you'll measure a half cup of the aqua faba and put it in your bowl. Next, you want to whisk it, and this is going to take a little while, so if you have an electric mixer, this might be a better option, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to mix this by hand. But you want to mix this for about five minutes until the mixture is foamy and has loose peaks. And here's what it should look like, thick and foamy. Next, you're going to melt six tablespoons of coconut oil in the microwave and then add it into your foamed up aquafaba mixture, as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Once that is mixed together really well, we are going to add the wet ingredients to the dry. So you just want to pour that in and then mix until everything is well combined. You guys, this dough was so tasty and it was totally safe to eat because there are no eggs. So next you will take the dough, cover it loosely in plastic and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to cool. And then at the same time you'll preheat your oven to either 190 Celsius if you're in Europe or 375 Fahrenheit if you're in the States. You want to prepare your baking sheet by putting a dollop of coconut oil and spreading it so that the cookies don't stick. And then you can start putting your cookies on the baking sheet. Right up this hill I wanna hold the whole wide world One of my tricks to making super perfect cookies that are all baked just exactly the same is by using a mini ice cream scoop to measure out all of my cookies. So I do that to measure all, all my cookies and they all come out perfectly well cooked and the same consistency throughout. I'm gonna learn to ballet dance Learn a little something Next, with a little bit of coconut oil on your fingers, press down on each cookie so that they cook evenly. These cookies don't spread out much, so this is a good thing to do for this recipe. Doesn't matter what the future brings, I'm gonna live a crazy dream. Next, we transfer these into our preheated oven and cook for 13 to 15 minutes until they're just slightly brown on top and not burned. So you have to watch the first batch a little bit carefully because they tend to want to burn on the bottom. So just keep a close eye on them, take them out when they're golden brown. And maybe I'm just a little girl, a little girl. This batch came out perfectly, you guys. These cookies are so tasty. I hope you get the chance to try this recipe because they're a much healthier version of a chocolate chip cookie. And it is vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and absolutely delicious. So let's see what my little daughter thinks of these.
Say cookie. Oh. Yeah, that's a cookie. 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 Good. Cookie. Good girl. You said it finally. That's tasty, huh? Can you say lecker? Lecker. Yeah, that's a good girl. <laughs>